American Ghost Fishing coming on here with an update. As you can see by the previous video, this thing was really raising the bow a lot. So I did was I put the motor on the lowest setting. I moved the brace bars here, this and one on the right to the middle instead of in the back. What I also did was I put the support plate on the top instead of on the bottom. So that just brings it so it doesn't move so readily back and forth. So that will reduce the amount of stress put on that center bolt by actually utilizing all three bolts. Uh, well, actually drywall anchors uh, to help support that. Plus, I mean, for the second run, I was like holding the actual motor with my hand physically. So it really put a lot of strain on my arm, which is why I wasn't out there so long. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's other modifications I've done. This is in order to help the thing get on plane. So, I had some very thin plywood here. I coated it in uh, uh, clear coat uh, coating. We'll just say that. And uh, basically all I did was put three staples in. One there, one in the center, and one at the other end. And wedged it in underneath here. So that'll be less water getting up into the back of the transom. And uh, I cut these edges here to bring it as flush to this little piece of plywood as possible. And that'll uh, hopefully reduce any drag off of the transom. Because uh, this thing was like, the transom was getting underwater to like up here and it was producing a lot of drag, I can only imagine. And what I also did was I stuck a piece of latex rubber that I had. Basically, something came up with sewing out. Work over it came up, so uh, every once in a while I take stuff that they're throwing out that's like actual garbage, garbage, not like items. And uh, I, what I did was I took the uh, washer and I stuck it in there inside the latex, pulled it through, and put the uh, little plastic rod uh, through that, and that should hold it in place and reduce any water getting up in through this bailing hole, also aiding in this thing trying to get on plane because the water i mean when it pulled the back when it pulled the stern down, a lot of water was coming up through here, and that was enabling it to get pulled so far down as well so uh that uh plugging that bailing hole should aid again in getting this thing on plane because once the thing gets on plane it's going to be much more efficient and travel much easier uh, there's going to be much less stress on my arm to try to hold that motor in place so uh, an American Ghost Fishing uh, updates on uh, motor mount for the uh, Tidewater 80SS for using the Cruise and Carry 2.7 horsepower comment or subscribe take care bye